Hello, welcome to week number two already. We um, we, we have a somewhat of a short period of time to cover a lot of material this semester. So we will be really digging into um, the textbook uh, more than we did in the first, first chapter or first week and uh, picking up steam. So you will find week number two listed on your Blackboard menu on the left-hand side of the screen. Week number two is due March 22nd. So that will be um, well, Sunday. Of course, this video you will be watching in this blank. The video doesn't exist though because we're currently filming it. We, we also have your weekly learning objectives. Just make sure not to glaze over those. Um, pay attention each week and it kind of gives you a preview of those really, really important topics um, we'll be covering. Of course, um, in the textbook this week is chapters 3, 4, and 5. And um, this week we spend a lot of time talking about the impact of the um, substance, the actual drug, on the human body. So drugs in the nervous system is, is chapter 3. Chapter 4 is on pharmacology and some of the unique properties of substances. And um, chapter five is on uh, new drug development and a continuation of pharmacology at large. I'll be honest with you, chapters three, four, and five are pretty technical. Um, and don't expect yourself to, to be able to grasp every single idea, fact, or figure because you will not be able to unless we are science majors. And I'm not sure anyone inside of um, our course is. If you are, are, great. But generally, we're human service, counseling type folks, social work, and this is really technical information. So instead of trying to read for, for memory or for memorization, try to read to understand and how you can maybe connect some of these dots with your own experiences and the experiences of others. I have included um, some outside readings for their um, material this week. And if you click on the link, um, your screen will look just a little bit different, but you should be able to see the same files. There's some information about adolescent substance use, some drug facts, emerging trends, um, health effects of certain substance, substances and so forth. But there's two charts that I really do want to draw your attention to. Uh, this one in blue and this one in purple. If we click on the blue one, hopefully it will um, expand here. Yeah, here. Here it comes. This is a really good chart of commonly abused drugs that um, you can actually print out. And I, I've used this chart for years and it keeps getting better and better. And it breaks down the particular substances, um, examples in terms of commercial names or street names, how the drug is administered, and health effects. This is truly one of those files, documents you may want to stick away and use in your professional practice later. And this one is commonly abused prescription drugs. Similar type chart with categories of names, commercial naming, the DEA schedule and administration route, and intoxication effects. So again, this is a super duper um, chart of sorts. We do have two discussion boards. Uh, make sure to make your own post and respond to two of your fellow students. That's really important. And we have three chapter quizzes this time. Each quiz is worth 20 points. That's 10 questions each uh, for two points each. And they are either true, false, multiple chores, multiple answer. Um, there's no time limit. You can use your textbook or resources. Uh, just don't use someone else. Don't team up with another class member. The quiz can only be taken, the quiz is plural, can only be taken one time as well, okay? Um, most of our le lessons or, or weekly lessons will follow the same pattern as we go along. So you will, you will know what to expect 
in what order, and so forth. We, um, again, I, I'm looking forward to participating with you with the discussion boards and um, seeing the types of conversations and, and inter interactions we're going to have in the future. Always feel free to email me at any time. Um, feel free to text me or call me, and I'll be happy to, to help you out. Thanks so much, and bye.